Okay, folks, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back again. All right. Doing some research in reference to my rucksack. Thank you to those who left comments and suggestions. They're great. I've got them all written down, hopefully. And uh, what I'm going to do this, we'll call this part two. We're going to, I discovered that there were things in the rucksack that I had forgotten. Hidden pockets and all that. I'll give you some more information. And so... Here we're going to go. I'm going to uh, exit this mode, get myself out of the picture, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, now, the rock sack. Let me grab it over there. We can start from that end. And I have to see what you can see, don't I? Okay. Now, what is it? Well, thanks to, oh goodness, I forget the full name of his site, Such. Um, his video on this one, it is a 7-Eleven, or sorry, 5-Eleven Rush 24, Rush 24. Um, I was watching his video last night and got the full data on it. So, now we know what we're talking about. Um, and I did have, for instance, I thought it was empty, and I had some more stuff in it. Now, I've got on the table stuff here, and if it seems a bit crowded in this room, uh, you're right, it is. Okay, and so, a quick one through it. The camera should be, this should be much better than in the past. I'm going to be moving the tripod instead of just aiming it crookedly about the house. Okay, and if you wonder at the lighting, it's because uh, the, you can see the curtains, or there's the uh, blinds behind the, the table. Uh, that's uh, opened up to let the light in somewhat. Okay, so let me pause here and I'll get my list and show you what I've got. Okay, back. I made a list, like I said. Now, had a good number of comments, good helpful ones. Um, and yeah, I did some tinkering and experimenting. For instance, quite bulky, aren't we? Um, you know, that's the fire starter kit from uh, the survival kit. Now, it's, I'm gonna put it down as being a little bit much for what we need. Um, and these are the wet fires that are inside and most of you are familiar with them okay and the striker came out of it as well ferrocerium rod and, and striker with it so okay what we're going to do is i'm going to sit it down and 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 uh, i had comments that uh, one comment at least that uh, the fellow thought i did very well on the, on the fire starting things However, I made two columns, remove and add. Now, um, down at the far side, yeah, we'll leave that go for now. Flashlight, it was recommended that I upgrade it. I'm thinking possibly the person is thinking about a aluminum tactical. Um, this one, as I said in the video, like I tighten this up and then push the button and we got a light and then I just back it off to let it sit now that might be a good idea now I always double check and make sure that yes it's off okay so that was one item that is a possible replacement now um, the car binder and S binder that are here they were on the outside of the bag those um, might be useful I find the car binder is maybe a bit not so Okay, I think there's no problem at all with the, the, uh, the tape, the, the can opener, same thing. Um, magnesium, I haven't even tried this one yet, my friend, we tried his. Um, I definitely plan to keep this little guy here. And I, I hate trying to see what, what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see it's got a tall flame enough on it. Um, 
I like it. To me, I, I was in the Army and we had the aluminum canister with Arctic matches, windproof, rainproof matches. And that's what these are. Um, I forget the brand name, but I, I'm going to tend to stick with them. These as well, the Dex 4 are toilet tissue. Yeah. Um, there's nothing worse than getting short without it. Okay. And the same as this lightweight balaclava. I'm not sure what it's made out of, so there. Now, it was recommended to remove the mask and glasses. So we set them aside. Um, let's see. Knife, fork, and spoon. Leave them out because I have a titanium. Uh, light my fire, I think it is. Um, if I can read on it. Uh, yeah, light my fire, titanium. Spork. I like a spork like this better than all in one piece, I, I must admit. So I'll set these aside. Sorry I'm getting in the way. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Poncho suggested. I remove that because I've got the rain suit. I wonder why people throw their stuff like that. Okay. Okay, paracord's down the other end there. Um, Fatwood's down the other end. Mask, glasses, stove. It was suggested to remove the stove out of here. Now, Okay, I didn't push down the little, oh, I know why, it's coming apart. Okay, anyway, so we take out the stove, and there goes a good old stainless steel pot on the floor. Okay, now, so we can set the stove aside. Um, I am, and, and yeah, um, there was some thought that this knife might not be totally adequate, and I think that would be correct. Um, let's take it out, put my list down. Okay, so we can see the blade is basically three fingers wide and a little bit, bit sticking out the top. It could be, and uh, also... Um, this finger is out of it. I uh, get myself in the image here. Yeah, it's a three finger knife. Um, a little on the small side. Um, it would do in desperation for sure. But if we were going to keep it at one knife, um, I'm going to I'm going to review that. Look at what else I have. No problem, I don't think, with the saw. Nobody mentioned the saw. Now tablets here. I put the whole package of 50 tablets in. Now I'm going to bring it around here so you can pause it and read it if you want to. Okay. So my thought is it has five cards of 10. And that means basically if we take one card like so. One card, that's good for 10 liters of water. That should be adequate. Depending on what our plan is for the, for the, the kit. Now, and that was brought up by one of the ladies. Like, where are you going? Um, how far? How long? I said it wasn't for a, a survival in the bush long term. It wasn't for bugging out from my home going out in the bush and living there because I can't put myself in that state unless it becomes essential. Okay. Um, right. Not mentioned when I did the original recording is a bowl. Pop out bowl. Uh, um, I'm going to say see the summit but I'm not positive. I can't read anything through the ziplock. Okay. 
So, the, the pot, I'm going to test it, but I think it holds the same volume as my, uh, my uh, titanium mug, which is um, 775 or 750 milliliters, so that might be the case. So, okay, now I'm going to move on, and I'm going to step over. Okay, sorry about that. That's uh, part of what we're what, what I, I've, I am here. Okay, so mentioned was food. How much food you got? Well, as I had said, uh, creamy beef and noodles with mushrooms. Okay, now this indicates 640 calories per package. Um, 36 grams of protein per package. Therefore. At 640 calories, I take that would be one person. It does not say anywhere. Um, let's see. Sorry, there is two servings per container. So, the thing is, that's fine to share with another person. Now, what really, um, if we're in a desperate situation, okay, come back here let you read it yeah nice looking right peach crumble that's not a survival food so much is it I'll have to look at that now also when I was going through it I discovered amongst other things I had enough bags right more too many bags really um, this is three of the largest um, garbage can liners I can get. There was also this pack slid in the back I'd forgotten about. Um, not necessary. I don't believe. So, I'm going to put it with the stove down there. In actual fact, I'm going to take the other two and put them down there because one should be enough for one person. Okay. So we're moving along. Now we come over here. And I can see we're going to get more and more interesting as we go. Okay. I'm, I'm taking this to be a two liters water con container. Okay, it's an algene and it was full of water in the, in the aluminum box of my travel camper trailer. And it got chafed around a bit. Proof that it was durable doesn't look pretty. Okay. That is negligible weight, so that's fine. Um, no comments on the SOL, Escape Bivy. Um, and of course, it's, flor it's, it's the orange. No comments on this either. Now this tarp is 3.9 meters by 2.9 meters and has no cordage with it. Okay, um, something to be considered there. Okay, recommended, remove the t-shirt. Okay, as we're getting around here a little bit, okay. The frog togs, that's the rain suit. Now, from the feel of it, I thought, okay, it should give um, ample protection and actually protection from wind, I think, as well as rain. And it, uh, it could be, give some warmth there. Okay. No comment, of course, on this. Um, I'll call it a survival um, a marker. I guess that's a good way to call it. Uh, it's cotton, so you could do all kinds of stuff with it. There was no comments at all on the utility blank, uh, blanket, and it's a five by seven foot, I do believe. Give me a quick peek. Yes. Now, so that, you could lay on the ground, lay on half of it, fold it over top of this, the, uh, the uh, escape biffy, for added protection, you could use it for an overhead shelter, but small. And um, so, 
with that, we have to give that consideration. Now, the scarf, that was not mentioned by anyone, suggested removing one hank of paracord, and actually it was suggested retain the orange one. So we'll put it down there. Okay, then we come to the fat wood. It was recommended that I keep one stick only because unless you're careless with it, it will last a fair while. Now, it's held together with elastic band, okay. And on both ends, of course. So, I'll take and pick one. Okay, they recommended keeping one. So I'll put that down there. The rest, I'll set aside. Okay, so I'm just going to double check. Right, glasses were not mentioned. Now, this was on the front of the, sorry about that, front of the rucksack. I'll get the angle right. It looks like you would put a, actually put a snap of scope or something on it. It was just fastened on the... So I'm taking that off. I don't see a useful purpose for it. Hidden inside, I had also forgotten my Shema. Now I've never used it, so it's... <laughs> Maybe I should wash it to make it nice and soft. Um, I have it. And the scarf. The scarf... This is the width of the scarf, okay? And so that's it. That's where I had said, good to, around your neck and on your shoulders, cross the front, protect your throat, that kind of thing. I think that would work. The Shema, um, it's far more useful. So we may look at that. Okay, the rucksack, the weight of it, I'm not certain. So, I'm just going to reach over and take these tablets. Now, it was also mentioned to reduce the size of this first aid kit. Okay, um, I went through it and it actually is a pretty fair first aid kit. Better than I've seen in most of them. It was professionally prepared um, I'm not sure if I can spot the company name. Yeah, actually, patented waterproof, tight seal, certified waterproof. So the, the zippy, zip lock inside is certified waterproof to 200 feet or 60 meters, tested and approved by the U.S. Navy. Okay? Um, it's got, for instance, surgical gloves in it and all kinds of stuff. The only thing I would be leery about would be... Um, um, the the, the uh, wipes and that kind of thing, they may be a little on the old side. So I would want to check that and probably replace them every couple, three years anyway. So, whoops, there I'm kicking my big feet again. Okay, sorry. Anyway, so that's what, knocking that stuff out of it does leave a hole. Now, what was recommended I add? Naturally, a pair of socks. Okay, upgrade the flashlight I mentioned, a multi-tool, yeah, uh, hard, hard to decide what to pick for sure there. Liquid iodine, small bottle, recommended because you can use it for purifying, purifying water as well as wounds. A simple fishing kit, yeah, there's not water right on my way home from the big city, but there is uh, water, so, um, waterways not too far away. Um, dry sacks, or a dry sack. Now, I'm um, also recommended a Sawyer water filter, and I expect that probably is the one that you can screw on the bottle and force the water out of the bottle through it into another container. Okay, food. And right, I need three days worth of food, two meals a day, I, I would guess anyway. Needle and thread. Flares, compass, it's crazy not mentioned, but I've got several. A small grate to replace the stove. Yes, uh, I have a small grate in the other room. And uh, 
Right, and I marked down here to keep one large plastic bag. Now these are, um, I'm not sure the exact size. Um, 45 gallon drum, not sure. My large uh, garbage can, they're more than big enough for it. They're, they're bigger around and taller. So I think that that would be fine. So that's what I got for suggestions. Now, what I'm going to do, I don't know. Like I said, the pot is a great pot. And yes, you can put a lot in it. Now, I don't have any of it except the bowl here. Um, and I'm not sure that it would be needed. Definitely a cup. Uh, if you're going to make up amongst your foods right we're gonna we're gonna have a soup mix or something like that um, I'm not sure if a, a 750 milliliter uh, pot is enough I would think not I would think not so I may be researching that I will be researching that a little bit but anyway this is what I came up with and so thank you for your patience I'm going to bring this back up so I can talk to you. Why not? Well, I'm at it, right? Okay. And so, really it comes down to, what's the bag for? Like I said, I'm not aiming to head into the bush to, um, it's not a, what's called an inch bag? I think so. Anyway, I'm not looking at leaving, heading in the bush, and taking on the military the police or anybody else in an armed conflict. Okay, I was in the military in days of old, so I have an idea of what they can do. And uh, if you're gonna fire upon the military, you're going to be dead. It's that simple. Anytime you would decide that you're going to use uh, arms against a trained force, you don't have much hope. You may pick a few off, you may uh, be a sniper and be able to take out a few, they're going to get you. There's no question in my mind. And uh, it's one of those things, and I have no reason why I want to take on my military. Uh, I served with them, right? That's it. So, it's for me, an emergency bag to add to the emergency bag for, I got from the, the CAA that is supposed to be for two people, a, tra a car traveling bag. It's got cups, it's got a little um, burner that you use the pellets in, uh, uh, coffee, soup, uh, space blankets, that kind of stuff. That stays in the car anyway. Just like a, 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 I have some, some tools, I have a, of course a spare tire, I have some other things in the car. And so this one is just to go with it, but also if I'm out hunting or something like that, off the beaten path, if I'm out in the desert in California, normally I would never be alone. However, sometimes I do take a shortcut. So that's it. Now, medications, at this point, I haven't decided if it's a good idea to put them in or not. Um, and that is one possibility. This bag would not be used if I was going to be relocated from my home to a school gym or someplace in case of emergency where they were evacuating our community because um, most of the stuff in here would not be useful it just wouldn't be okay i've got another bug out bag for that it's got clothing medications uh, hygiene stuff and yeah there's no hygiene stuff in here uh, in the army i've had to go as much as 11 days without getting my boots off so you know therefore i did not have a shower i did not wash up and I had no choice in the matter. So we can survive that. It just is mighty grim. It's not nice at all. Therefore, we're gonna try and do this the easy way, make it pleasant for me. Um, any more suggestions to what I've given here? Um, matter of fact, I, I, I'm gonna even hold the list up so that uh, you can uh, uh, freeze it, take an image of it if you want, and uh, yeah, and for number of days, I figured three. I'm 60 kilometers from down, downtown Winnipeg. I have two communities that are about seven kilometers or five miles away. So, you know, it's not far there. Like I said, it's going to be when I'm away from home, usually. Anyway, here's the list that was shared. I wrote down. Now, I'm going to 
get it over here and hopefully you can read that okay that's it okay that's it for this video hopefully this will be part two will be interesting and then what my plan is is to once I get it settled down at least for this winter I'll get back to you let you know how it turned out including I'll get the thing weighed and see how much the pack weighs all the best from Ted here in Paradise Village in western, eastern Manitoba. Have yourself a good, safe winter. Uh, we have snow coming down lightly. There's snow on the streets a little bit, so be careful out there for those of you that are in such conditions. Matter of fact, that's everybody about north of, uh, <laughs> what, Phoenix or somewhere in, in Arizona like that, northern Texas, right across to northern California, anywhere you can get snow or freezing rain you know what it's like so take yourself real good care be safe and enjoy yourself a pleasant winter that's it for now Ted's clear